go to your mid-month reading for July. I hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Okay, friends, let's get right into this to see what's going on with you. Okay. Getting straight into your energy of what you were thinking and feeling. Okay. Virgo. right out got the king of pentacles sitting right here being straight into some earth sign <clears throat> energy right there feeling prosperous feeling like you're on top of the world feeling perceptive uh the king of pentacles is a very perceptive person prospery prospering a lot just feel like you feel very prosperous yes confident Maybe you're even strategizing a little. Okay. So let's get right in here and see what's going on. Okay, the Oracle card. Clarify on the King of Pentacles, please. This card that I'm grabbing is a very important card. It's going to clarify on the King of Pentacles plus the overall reading for the whole reading. So. It's got a big job. Okay. Right on the king, king of Pentacles, please. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Because of movement, choices, and decisions. Look at that. You're on the move. Like I said, strategizing. You're strategizing. I believe you're strategizing every choice and every move you make. Really taking on that earth energy. Decisions, decisions. See where you're going here. Okay, straight into the present right now. Present, please. What's going on with them in the present? Rejoicing and celebration. Triumph and success. For some reason, I feel like some of you just got a job. Material harvest in the near past. In the near future, you have destiny and wisdom. Nice. It's bringing in that perception of the King of Pentacles. Very nice. So, <clears throat> straight in here. Going straight into the near past over here. This could have been a week ago, a couple of days ago, a couple of hours ago. You were materially harvesting over here, taking on that material harvest, making sure that you are getting where you want to go. Using self-confidence and self-assured, offering yourself new ideas, new adventures, getting whatever it is that you want to manifest. So pretty much you're planting the seeds and looking for the outcome. And this is because you say, up, oh, that's it. I'm bringing in new beginnings. I'm done with the old and I'm moving towards new ones. Inference coming out. Ooh, some of you may have, may have been pregnant or had gotten pregnant. And now you know you need a new world because you are bringing life into the world and you want to better yourself, making a family for yourself. Okay, very beautiful. Or you're just nurturing this new idea and understanding that you need a new beginning to make yourself more prosperous. All right. There it is making a new destiny for yourself, making better choices for yourself, wanting new cycles that are better than the past ones. Very beautiful. And then you, of course, in the near future, you also have the destiny cards. You have it twice. It's very nice. Um, over here, you have rejoice and celebration. Just knowing where you're going and what you're doing is making you rejoice and celebration. See you over here as this king of pentacles, and you're just like on top of the world in your own energy, feeling alive. And that's because of the Ace of Wands. Ooh, feeling energized, inspired by the new beginnings that you're having. Very beautiful. Some of you may have even gotten an inheritance and you're, in, you're enjoying this inheritance because it's bringing you new prosperity. It's bringing you new inspired ideas of what you can do. Or you guys could have had a job promotion. 
um, with the Ace of Wands and you're rejoicing in celebration saying, yes, I got a job promotion. And it was something maybe you had worked very hard for and you manifested in the near past. Very beautiful. High Priestess using that intuition for these movement choices and decisions. Using the intuition to know where you're going to triumph and success. Having the triumph and success sitting here is just like having the Ace of Swords. And you also understand that the Ace of Swords is a double-edged sword. So you have to make the wisest decisions when doing so because, you know, having a double-edged sword, you don't want to cut yourself. So you're saying, I have to do this the right way. Getting right into the, that intuition. You have the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands taking on a challenge. It was kind of a challenge to get where you were going. That's okay, though. I see that as being just fine. It looks like you were up for the task. <clears throat> Definitely up for the task. Defending what was yours, finding the fairness in the situation that you're dealing with. There is definitely a situation you are feeling more balanced about with the Six of Pentacles. Could even, if you had inheritance with this promotion, you could even be giving to charities or being a little more generous with your money. Um, yeah. If you're building a new family over here, you're just feeling the fairness and under and having the understanding of what is fair towards, I believe what you would be giving towards um, maybe saving money for your new family. The page over here of, of water might even be offering you cups of love as well. Giving you a new world to be the mother of the children. <clears throat> Maybe you already have children as well. Lots of beautiful things going on. King of Swords, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini, and you're sitting over here going, yes, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to do everything I can, having the great communication within this new job, this new career, this new ad adventure. Whatever it is that has you all inspired and uh, ready to pretty much rock and roll. King of Swords. I feel like the only reason you're not rushing in really, really fast, though, with the King of Swords over here is because you're using your intuition, really getting deep down into the ideas of what needs to be done for the challenge of getting ready either for this baby or this new endeavor that you're doing. Whatever it is that you're doing, uh, Virgo. Um, for a lot of you, I also see new job and promotion, um, but definitely you're taking it slow and easy. You're not rushing into anything. You're like, I'm thinking about things. I'm communicating about the things. I'm taking up the challenge, but I'm sitting over here just nice and pretty, and there's no reason to be rushing in. And I think it's, you know, it's because you were like, it was, um, maybe it was because you were, Everything was a little unstable at one time because the Knight of Swords upside down could be unstable. So maybe it was you were communicating about how unstable things were in the past. So you just really want to keep everything very, see, movement choices and decisions. You want to make sure everything is perceived perfectly and you're doing everything perfect. Just like, man, that is the perfect earth sign move right there. Making sure everything is coming together perfectly and not rushing, you know, not rushing in to do anything. I'm too hasty and too fast. Definitely holding tight with the Four of Pentacles. You could even be, if you're pregnant, you're not doing anything too hasty as well because maybe you're holding tight and saving money for this baby. And um, yeah, you're like, I'm not going to be too crazy over here about buying all this stuff or doing all this stuff because I'm saving money. So it could be as well. And uh but definitely holding tight and taking control of the situation at hand. Very beautiful. Yeah, because, yeah, the temperance coming out. Yes, looking for the, the perfect timing. Hey, for some of you, it even looks like maybe you haven't even told your partner you're pregnant yet. <laughs> some of you, you're like, I'm this could have been like a couple of weeks ago you found out you're pregnant. You haven't even said anything yet and you're going to communicate with them to let them know 
that it's the perfect timing to let them know that you're pregnant. You've been planning and making the decisions on how to let them know. Feeling like it's a challenge to let them know. Hey, guess what? We have a new addition coming. So that's for somebody. Probably not a lot of you, but for somebody. So very beautiful. Just waiting for that perfect romantic time to say, hey. Okay, so you have the destiny over here. With the Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. So you have this new beautiful destiny coming towards you. And you're getting all your hopes and promises. You have many things coming. I'm telling you, somebody's getting a promotion. You've worked and inspired to get this promotion. You're working very hard. And here it comes. And here it comes right now. And you're like celebrating. You're celebrating because now you have this money coming in. And you're like, here's my money. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely. Now that money, you're seeing that money come in from that promotion. And you're like, oh man, all my hopes and promises and dreams have come true. And here comes that Ten of Pentacles. I'm making so much more money. I feel so wonderful. No, I feel so great. Clarify on the Ten of Pentacles for me, please. Page of Wands, dreaming about the things that you're going to go do. You might even be dreaming about taking, if your partner is a Aries, Sagittarius, got Sag here twice, um, or a Leo, could be dreaming about taking this fire sign out, or they just might be a very adventurous person that you're dating, and you're feeling a little adventurous too, and you're like, look at all this money I made. Let's go do something. Let's travel. Look at all the choices that we have. Let's look out in the world and see what we can do together, having more options with your money. Definitely having more options. I think you're dreaming about the things that you can accomplish with the Seven of Cups over here. Looking out, looking at all the new things that you can do. Using the wisdom. Using this wisdom and this insight to even get to better places with sitting on top of the Seven of Cups. Ten of Cups feeling completely accomplished right now. Like, I did it. Look at what I did. I've done this. And if this is the new baby coming in, it's like, look at what we made. Look what we have. Having a new adventure on your hands of raising a family. Feeling very accomplished. Having more options moving forward. Yep. Oh, damn. <laughs> there it is. The chariot moving forward. Feeling like you have victory. Oh, look at that. Within your family, somebody is pregnant. Somebody is going to have a baby. Well, congratulations. And yes, moving forward with their family. And here's family again. Moving fam you know, moving forward with this family and you being wise about it. Being wise with the money. Being wise with all the things that you're doing. Very beautiful. And those of you who it's that new job opportunity or this new career or whatever it is for you, it's just feeling moving very victoriously into the passionate new beginnings that you have with the four of wands just knowing that you built something feeling like you built and you know you built something with the four of wands you're building things you've built this this is mine look what i've done and just having that total 100 percent enthusiasm you know you might even got a new house and now you're like hey you know in the near future it looks like you might even be moving household or buying new furniture, being able to do things that you could only have dreamt of. And that's really what I see here. Doing things you could only have dreamt of. Look at all these things I've only dreamt of doing. Now I get to do them. You wanted that new sofa, I get a new sofa. I want a new bedroom set, I get a new bedroom set. In fact, for some of you, maybe you even wanted a canopy bedroom set, right? I've always wanted one of those. It makes me feel like a princess, right? Or my wife's always wanted one of those and it's going to make her feel like a princess. So it could be even something just like that, right? So otherwise, like I said, it's just passionately moving forward within your home or doing something to your home or moving home, right? Moving to a new home. Now you can afford to get a better house, buy a house. Very beautiful. And definitely with, you know, having a new baby, it's going to make your house. I feel like also seeing this house, like the house is going to feel so much warmer. 
with the Ten of Cups. It's going to feel warm and it's going to feel very homey having a baby here. It's going to be like all my hopes and dreams. Very nice. Feel like a real family. Something like that. Okay, so the angels say... Helpful people. There are going to be helpful people around you, so that's always good, and let those people help you. Within the next few weeks. And opportunity. Wow, look at that. You've got opportunity sitting right here. I'm going to put it over here. So beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. So gorgeous. What a gorgeous reading, Virgo. And congrats to those on everything, because you're either getting, you're getting something big. So congratulations to each and every one of you, um, because it looks like you have manifested and put a lot of hard work in here one way or another. Okay, so, and that was a reading for you for a mid-month of July. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.